Hello everyone, it's me Ash, and you're you're watching me play some Star Maid. As you can see by my surroundings. I'm in space. I'm back on the Beard Federation HQ. You might also notice it looks a little bit different. That's because I have a texture pack installed now. Um, I don't love it, but it's it's a little bit better, I think, than the default. And that's cool. I haven't done much work to this. You can see the ship's parked over there, the Star Muncher is parked in the docking unit that we installed last episode if you want to learn how to add a docking unit to anything just watch uh, the previous episode on that um, inside of a little bit of work added some blue lights unfortunately I bought out all the blue lights from the lo local shop so I'm going to have to go exploring to find some blue lights to replace all these white lights because I figured they look pretty badass and I want to replace all the stuff with blue lights now today what we're going to do is we're going to continue along the same path of the docking unit from last episode by building another docking unit called a turret docking unit. And that will turn whatever you dock with it effectively into a turret by allowing it to rotate on its axis and aim at stuff. Now, there's a few things you got to do. And most of it you've probably learned from the previous episode because it works practically the same way as the docking unit by itself. So, if we place it right now, when we go into the build mode of our sh our space station, um, it's going to be oriented with whatever you have. It starts off with the front of the ship, which would be that direction, but because I've been messing around with it, it's actually aiming this direction. So if I place it down now, the area in which you can dock is actually facing that way, and it's red meaning bad meaning that it's inside the ship and it doesn't have an open area within this little cube. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit control, hold it down, and now we're able to change the orientation up with these little arrows of what this this block is going to be facing. And now we want it up, so now we place it, the area is above it, and it's floating above our ship, so no big deal. And I think we actually want to move it a little bit to the side here, place it there. Now what we also have are these turret docking enhancer unit blocks. I'm going to place one below it just to get started. Oh yeah, we can't. we got to hit C on the turret docking unit itself. So any subsequent blocks we place after the fact will be connected to that block. So when we place this, boom, it makes the block bigger. That's what these blocks do. If you didn't watch last episode, that's what the enhancer blocks do. They will change the size of the effective area that your turret, your your uh, docking unit will be able to cover. Now if we do it one this way, it'll make it bigger up. And then we connect it this way, it'll make it bigger wide. And then we connect it this way, it'll make it bigger this direction. So you just have to mess around with the enhancer units. It's a little bit weird, but it's, it's not too hard to grasp. Now what we need to do is we need to get ourselves a ship core, which I have right here. And if you didn't, don't know how to spawn a ship, this is how you do it. So we hit R to get out of the build mode of our space station. And now we're going to have our ship core selected. And then we hit X. It'll bring up a prompt. And we can name it whatever we want. It's just going to be Laser 1A. Laser Cannon Alpha. That's a good name. It's a good science fiction name. So this is the first laser cannon. It's Alpha. And we hit, and it doesn't, it, you have to put underscores because it doesn't accept spaces. Boom. Now this ship is called, it's just a little ship called Laser Cannon Alpha for the time being. Now we want to hit R to go into the ship core and go into build mode so that we can make our turret. And ignore that thing. That's the front of the ship, obviously. So what we want to do is we want to first add some power. Maybe be sure to add some power. I don't think you really need a whole lot of power on this. Uh, it depends on the size of your cannon, really, but how often are you really going to... How big is your cannon really going to be, dudes? Uh, take that back. God, cannons, right? Cannons can be massive. They're, fr they're fucking cannons. Okay, the bigger the better on the cannons. Okay, so now we want to add a... Uh, where is it? I must have it in my inventory. A weapons computer. And I have some antimatter cannons here. And a faction module. If you have a faction attached to your space station, then anything that docks with it has to be the same faction. So that's why we have a faction module. Um, if you don't have a faction set up, then you won't need one. 
but because we do, we need one. So I'll add a faction module here, and then we'll hit R on the faction module, and hit enter faction sign, our signature, and now anything, now whatever faction I'm part of is assigned to that faction box, so now it's part of the Beard Federation. Now what we want to do is we want to add the actual weapons computer, which I'll put back here. And now, see it's highlighted orange, that means anything we connect to it afterwards is going to be connected to that weapons computer. So we just need to line this thing up so it's facing the direction that we want to. There we go. It's facing that way, because we want the cannon to be facing that way. So now the more cannons, the better. It's the more powerful it's going to be. Like that. Okay, so we'll, we'll reduce it, because I actually was thinking about maybe put some blue on this bad boy. Move that, and we'll add the same pattern to this side. Same pattern up here. This thing, this fucking thing. It is. It is. It's gonna be awesome. Okay, and then we need to add cannons here. Let's see how many cannons we have left over at the end of this little pattern. Now we're gonna have a fucking five pronged weapon of mass butt destruction. Get it? We're gonna shoot people in the butts. Yeah. Okay, we have nine left actually. So if we just put this and this, that looks pretty cool. We have five left. I think that's pretty good. I actually think I'm going to remove this one in the middle and then add this these black blocks and put um, this SD cockpit here. Actually, we need to probably um, there's a bit of a problem actually that I did not take into consideration and that is the fact that when you dock this thing it's gonna dock underneath it this area right here and you so this has to be free otherwise one it's not gonna dock right and two you're not gonna be able to get out of the damn ship whenever you undock but we can't add that back why I remove that. Um, and now, so now it's like a three prong, and then we'll have the. We'll connect to this, and we'll add the cockpit to the front so that we have an easy place to view our what we're trying to shoot from this area. Otherwise, we're going to be looking at the back of a block. So if you have to keep that in consideration for your ships or your turrets. Now, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks pretty good. What if I put like these things. It probably would have looked better if it was blue. Oh well, it's fine. It's fine. I'll add some more blue. I'll just add some more blue blocks. I don't like that. I don't like any of it actually. I'm just gonna leave it like this. And we'll mess with the view later. For now, we're gonna try, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get into the ship by hitting space to flight mode. Now, as you can see, I'm looking out of this cockpit, and I can go to my docking unit, which is it looks like the ship core over here, where the uh, zero is on my thing, and I aim and shoot while it's selected, and it will dock me. It'll dock me with it. Now, if I hit R to get out of the ship. You can see now that it's connected to the docking unit. Now, one thing to keep in mind is not to hit the z hit shoot with the zero, coats or it'll undock your ship. Make sure you always have your actual weapon weapon selected, which in this case is the one here on my hotbar. Now, when I hit the click, boom, 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 boom. And as you can see, the ship is full of holes because I've actually done this before and shot some ship and. Unfortunately, it's, it's not actually doing anything at this point to the ship. It's not doing any damage to the ship. Which is probably good, actually. What if I shoot that ship? Either way, look at this. Bam! I'm shooting three lasers at a time. 
imagine if there's a pirate and it's just flying by being like, hey bitches, it's like mooning you out of its cockpit, and you're like, no, only butts around my ship are my butts. You keep your foreign butts, your dirty foreign pirate butts, to yourself, and then you just fucking shoot them out of the sky like the shit fucks they are. Now, that's all I've got. That's really the end of it. Uh, I think that's the perfect place to end it by saying shit funks and then then just signing out so if you guys have any other questions about turrets and turret docking units please feel free to ask in the comments if you guys want to keep watching the star made series please also hit the like button and also the subscribe button and until next time i'm ash this is ash plays star made play on